Uh, my name's uh, Paul Martin, I'm 33 years old, and my b-boy name was P, and I'm the founding member of Bad Taste Crew. The crew officially started as a b-boy crew in 1998, but prior to that, like me and a few friends from back home, we were just really into hip-hop, into like basketball, you know, like the whole sort of hip-hop culture and, and graffiti and stuff like that, and we were really young and innocent, we thought, right, well, we need to have a crew, we need to have this, that, and other, so we come up with the name Bad Taste. So, back in the day, there was a lot of b-boy competitions in the UK. Still is, there's a hell of a lot more, but we used to come over every, every summer, basically, and we met a crew from Newcastle called Newcastle City Crew. Um, we became really, really good friends with them. Um, that started a relationship you know, across the water that we would be invited to come over to Newcastle and do competitions, do you know, like sort of showcases and things with them. And then um, Robbie decided to go to uni in Newcastle. Uh, my name is Robbie, I'm from Bad Taste Crew, uh, originally from Northern Ireland, now based in Newcastle in the North East. I came over to study at Newcastle University originally. We had been to Newcastle the year before for a jam and Newcastle University B-Boy Champs. And we did a showcase there against NCK. We got to see the city and uh, realized it was really nice and that there was more for us in terms of a uh, battle scene in the UK. So we ended up relocating here to follow that kind of, those aspirations to battle and you know get ourselves out there a little bit more. Uh, B-Boy Battle is, um, well, it can happen in a competition, you know, in a one opponent or crew versus another opponent or crew on a round-by-round -round basis of elimination until you get to the winner. Or you can have a battle in, you know, in a cipher or a circle, just uh, usually on the peripherals of a competition. And you can just go off against someone and call them out, you know. Um, so it's just basically, it, it sounds, you know, a little bit antagonistic, but it's about respect at the same time. A battle, yeah, but everybody, uh, there's respect inherent within it. You wouldn't battle anyone you didn't respect almost, you know. We've been competing seriously for about six, seven years. So that's taken us like on a really crazy journey, like literally and you know, geographically as well, you know what I mean? So we, we started off just competing, you know, in the UK, trying all the different competitions, all the different battles. And you know, in the early days, we were getting beat a lot and we didn't know why, so we started training harder and harder and then we started winning things. And then, you know, we had this sort of thing where we want to win everything in the UK, we want to beat everybody, and we did. And then the sort of name grew then, we got invited to other competitions in Europe we self-funded ourselves to go to America and just travel and do that. So that was kind of the starting point for the traveling and making a name. And then we had our first big show in Dance City and that was Soul to Soul. And that was kind of like an like a autobiography of our crew. You know what I mean? It was like a theater show essentially telling our story. And that was a really good starting point for us to get into theater. So we started doing theater shows so we started, you know, developing a name through that style or that area of work as well. So we kind of built up a name by working with different arts companies, different arts organizations, as well as going out and competing and, you know, battling and, and then also putting on hip-hop events as well. So. so the secret is to, I guess, if there was one, just evolve, evolve with it and keep it interesting you look to other places for inspiration and to keep it always fresh never get stagnant because then that's when you're going to get bored you know you always got something to learn you can have an almost perfect technique and something but it's not all about technique either it's about creativity and originality also so i can never imagine you know a perfect b-boy I, get, I, I don't think there's any secret to doing what you love, you know. It's just one of those things, I, I'd be doing this whether I was getting paid for it or not. And I did for years and years before I was getting paid for it, so it's not, it's not about money, it's not about uh, fame or popularity or anything like that, it's about expression.
you know, I always had a dream, sounds weird, but whenever I was really young that we would try and make a name for ourselves as b-boys and actually try and put Ireland on the map in terms of b-boying and, and hip hop culture and that's what we ultimately set out to do is, you know, a few years ago now we're on a different sort of wavelength, you know, what we're doing because we've done that, you know, not to any great level or anything, but we've done what we wanted to do, you know. My dream used to be to um, perform a Battle of the Year. Uh, we've achieved that dream now and there are other dreams, you know, above and beyond the horizon now.